good fam? Welcome to Tito's Kitchen. In today's episode, I got a nice one for you. We're doing shrimp scampi with a little bit of Cajun seasoning in there. Um, this is also a special episode. I got my second oldest son, Tajay. He working the camera today. So uh, we keeping it in the fam, you know, show him how to do a little something. And he might end up teaching me a little something, you know what I mean? But uh, anyway, shrimp scampi, Cajun style, few ingredients, very, very easy to make. And I'm going to show you how right now. First, let's check out the ingredients. We're going to start off with, um, in no particular order right now, but shrimp and pepper, shrimp, salt and pepper. We're, we're using Cajun seasoning right here and crushed red peppers. This is what's going to give us that kick. We're using olive oil. Actually, it's avocado oil. I like using avocado oil. It has a higher burn tolerance, uh, burn temperature. Some shredded, freshly shredded Parmesan cheese. I have some sliced julian style shallots we have minced garlic we have a nice herbal blend here it's parsley thyme and rosemary all fresh herbs some diced tomatoes we're going to be throwing in towards the end and um some good worcestershire sauce worcestershire sauce about a tablespoon worth whatever you call it whatever you wish to call it um three tablespoons of chicken stock a half cup of white dry white cooking wine two tablespoons of butter, a nice lemon. We're gonna be using lemon juice and some lemon zest as well. And last but not least, the star of the show, the shrimp. We use about a, about a pound worth of jumbo shrimp. We're gonna be using linguine, which I already cooked, already cooked already, and have it ready to go. We're gonna dive right into this. I'm hungry, so I got people that's hungry. My cameraman back there is hungry. It's not gonna take but about maybe 10 minutes in real time. Probably shorter once we edit the video, but uh, let's dive into it for sure. Okay, we're going to start off by seasoning our shrimp with the Creole seasoning right here. And um, we're going to season it to taste. This particular one it is kind of high in sodium, so uh, you want to season it to taste, but make sure we can season it nice and good. Set that to the side, let it marinate for a second. We're going to get the pan up to medium high heat. One to two tablespoons of avocado oil and two tablespoons of butter. Go ahead and mix that together a little bit. Just blend it together a little bit. Now, throwing your shallots and we're going to cook them up until they start to sweat a little bit. Get nice and clear and translucent. Season them with salt. Once those shallots start to sweat a little bit, we're gonna add in our garlic. Mix that up nice and good. And I'm telling you, this is when the aroma just is, mm. I'm gonna actually turn that down a little bit to about 300 degrees, just so we won't burn it. So as soon as our garlic starts to sweat as well, we're going to add in our shrimp. Shrimp cooks very fast, so we want to make sure we spread it out nice and even. And we're going to cook it on both sides for about two, three minutes each side. Go ahead and flip them over nice and good. We're gonna cook them about three quarters of the way and actually set those aside as well. See what you have left is uh, the onions and the shallots. Some of them are a little crispy. Some of them cook nice and well. And that's where all the flavor is right there. That's the flavor right there, I'm telling you. So this is the beginning of building that flavor. Add in this white wine, and that's going to deglaze the pan, as you see. Mix it together. Next, we're going to add in two tablespoons of chicken stock, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now, we're going to go ahead and shake in a few uh, crushed red pepper flakes. Not too much, just enough to give it a little kick. Boom, mix that in. 
Now add in our herbal blend, and once we do that, we're just gonna cook it up and let it reduce a little bit. Let that wine reduce about halfway. And this is the way we build the flavor. The flavor is getting built, I mean, delicious. Cut up a lemon, squeeze in some lemon juice, a little quick squeeze. And once we let that reduce halfway, it's time to add our shrimp back in. So in this part, we're pretty much cooking the shrimp all the way and that way it gives the shrimp a chance to absorb all that nice sauce. Add in a little lemon zest. Some more lemon juice. Sprinkling more of the herbal blend. Now we're gonna throw in our diced tomatoes. After that, sprinkling on a nice, nice amount of shredded Parmesan cheese. We're gonna add the linguine right on top. Not too much, just enough to soak up that that flavor and be nice and good. Toss it around, make sure the sauce gets on every piece of pasta in there. And it's time to plate it. I take out the pasta first and I lay the shrimp on top, like so. Make sure we get nice some of that juice on there, some of that sauce on there. Finish it off with a little bit of Parmesan cheese and another sprinkle dash of the herbal blend. And just that quick, boom, you got a delicious meal. All right, y'all, quick, easy, just like I told you, I can't wait to get into this. I'm starving right now, so it's time for the taste test. Let's see here. It was pretty, I had to mess it up though. You can taste the flavor from, from the fresh herbs, the lemon zest, lemon juice, the garlic. I mean, every, everything in there. Cajun shrimp scamp. Like always, appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Peace.